Hey guys, it's Fishing at PNW. It's Sunday morning and it is cold. It is 27 degrees right now, air temp. Everything in my boat is freaking frozen. I made the mistake of putting out my rods last night when it wasn't that cold and everything is frozen. My rods, my baits, my reels, the entire boat is frozen. We're gonna go out looking for some largemouth or smallmouth today and hopefully we'll be able to find something on my new graphs and hopefully side imaging will pay off. All right, we'll get back to you. All right, folks, we're out on the lake. We're looking around. We're going under a bridge right now. Let's see what these pilings look like on side imaging. Oh wow, look how clear that is. That is amazingly clear detail. Look at that. Oh, you can see the individual pilings right there. One, two, three, four. That is awesome. That is freaking awesome. All right, folks, we're gonna, we're gonna idle around the lake and see if we can locate some fish or some good looking structure. Look at that detail. We're running over some good wood on the side. It's just too shallow for them right now in the winter. I can't believe the water temp is 43.3. That blows my mind. Yeah, I thought it was going to be 30, high 30s. Look at that detail, folks. Hummingbird mega imaging. I'm going to a little bit of hard bottom on the right. Yep. This is probably a good spawning area. Look at all this rock. All right, folks, we're calling it a day on Stilicum. Didn't get any fish. We ran over some cool stuff. Lakes, lakes are a lot shallower than I thought. We found some surprisingly warm water because apparently there are underwater springs here, but we're going to pack up and go to another lake. At least you guys got to see some cool side imaging shots. Alright folks, it got sunny, we switched lakes. Hopefully we can at least catch a perch, but we're going to, that's going to be last resort. We're going to try to get a smallmouth, so we'll see what happens. Where should we start? just start around here this is like the only point where we really have to ourselves yeah. all right folks so Bass Pro Shops claims that they fixed the problem and all the interference is gone but as you can see they were wrong at this point I've given up all hope and I don't think they're ever gonna be able to fix it all right folks first fish on I think it's probably a perch we're in deep water, it's very likely a perch. Oh, that's a big perch. Oh, that's a massive perch. Oh man, this is all googly eyed and everything. Let's try to pop this bladder and get it back in. It's air bladder. All right this works like it has in the past yep look at that straight and going down goodbye perch so again when you catch them in really deep water and their air bladder comes out of the throat you can cut open with scissors release the air and they can swim back down fish on oh this feels good might I don't know what this is it might just be another jumbo perch yeah, I think it's probably just another perch, but it feels nice. What is it? Is it? Oh, wow, that's a big one. It's another big one. Oh, well, his bladder didn't come out. I wonder if it's his air bladder. Didn't. I wonder if it'll come down. Look at that perch. They're fat. They're getting ready. Or they're building up their eggs for the spring.
fish on. Oh, this, this feels, they feel huge at first. Oh, this one's actually pulling. It's probably another jumbo perch. What is it? Yep, another nice one. Oh, there are two. Check it out, folks. The seaplane is about to launch. Oh, I got a fish. Oh, man. I just lost a fish while filming the seaplane. Number two. There they go. This feels good. Yeah, drop like where my line is. What is this? Is this a perch? Oh my god, that's a big one. Yeah. Alright, perch number four for me. Look how fat these fish are. All right, so four perch so far. Let's talk about the gear we're using. We're using a Dobbins Fury 703 SF. Again, for mostly for bass, overkill for perch. Using the Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus 3000 FA. And the way we're feeling these really light bites in such deep water between 70 and 80 feet, it's because I'm using braid to a leader. Let's get the leader off there. So I'm using Tough Line Dominate, which is an eight carrier, or if you want to call it an eight strand braid. It's really smooth, it goes through the guides nicely. It's not really noisy like a six strand or a four strand braid. And it's a 10 pound braid, and I love this for drop shot. This is perfect for finesse, so you definitely want to check out the Tough Line Dominate. Oh crap, sorry folks. I thought I was filming, I wasn't. Dave and I just got our first double header on perch. Fish number five for me, fish number one for Dave. Man, these things are beautiful. Look how fat they are. Oh, really? Got another one going on, number six. Oh, and it's another fatty. Oh, man. Just catching nice perch today. Oh, that was a crazy bite. Fish number seven for me. Is this a giant perch? Because this feels big. Yep. Oh man, this is another jumbo. Oh my gosh, this fish bit so hard. Ah, uh, jumbos for days. There it is. I can't remember if this is. Yeah, seven or eight, I can't remember. I, I lost track. I got confused. And it's another perch. Oh man. Whoa, he just threw up like a big worm. What is that? That's weird looking. Oh my gosh, that's like a that's like a four inch Senko. <laughs> this little perch just threw up like a four inch Senko. That's really weird. Oh, fish. Okay, this is eight or nine. Sorry, I lost track. But either eight or nine. Oh, that's a fat one. Whoops. Dang. This might be my biggest today. I don't know. These are pretty huge. Look at that perch. So fat and beautiful. Oh, 
fish on. Oh no, it came off. Oh wait, it's still on. Oh, it's a, it's, oh, it's a trout. That's a big trout. He, he, he started swimming straight up, so I couldn't tell. I thought he popped off. Where's my pliers? Yeah, this trout is going crazy. Look at that. That's a pretty trout. Let me see if I can get some sun on him. Yeah, look at that. That's a gorgeous trout. I'm not going to keep it out long. Let's get her back in. 14 inches or so. That is the weirdest boat ever. It looks like a car, and the rear tires are what's spinning and driving the thing. Hey guys, so we wrapped up the day. We fished two lakes, and the first lake was a complete bust. From what I'm hearing now, there was a big bloom you know, last fall in the summer that killed off a lot of fish. But who knows if that had anything to do with it. But the first lake, we went out, we idled around, we side imaged, we tried to find good areas to fish and spent a couple hours doing that. And we didn't get any bites. We marked a couple of things that could have been fished, but we couldn't get them to bite. And as you saw, or as we mentioned in the video, we saw water temps get as high as 48 degrees, which is insane. But again, that lake also has warm water springs that come up from underground, so that's the reason why it's so much warmer than the other lakes. So then we packed up and went to another lake and we tried for bass for a while. There was, there were so many other bass boats in the spots that we wanted to fish, so we just kind of went around to other spots and it ended up being a perch day. We caught him on a drop shot anywhere between about 68 to 75 feet. And I lost track. It was either eight or nine, but I caught a bunch of perch. They were all pretty big. Dave caught four, I believe, and then I caught a trout at the end of the day. So again, it wasn't a complete bust, but I'm starting to starting to lose my itch to really get a winter bass. And for those of you that don't know, winter bass fishing isn't really something I've had much experience doing. This is actually my first year really attempting to do it. And so far I've only tried at American and Stilicum. And if I'm gonna give it another shot and actually have a chance of catching a smallmouth, I'll probably have to drive up to either Lake Washington or Sammamish. But again, we caught him on a drop shot, deep water. You know, braid to leader is essential. You guys need to go check out Tough Line Dominate. It is awesome braid. All right, see you guys later.